Shalom, shalom. Man, in this video, I'm going to play a clip that's going to answer some of your questions. People are always curious. Are you left wing or are you right wing? Are you a Democrat or are you a Republican? Are you a conservative or are you a liberal? My answer is, man, I'm set apart from what's common. Your average person does not know the meaning of a republic, okay? And I'm gonna post the definition of a republic in here. So this video that I play at the end will make sense. A lot of people don't know what the meaning of a democracy is. And I want you to think about this. If a democracy means that the people rule, why are so many people that look like me? Historically, why have they raised their hands to let somebody else rule them and rule them in a way that they do not see fit? See, there's a huge distraction going on. You know, when you see a lot of these debates, whether they be left or right, it's nothing more than bread and circus. It's nothing more than stage play as the reason to why you say, how come these people are ducking and dodging the questions? How come they're talking about all this stuff that doesn't have to do with anything pertaining to the real issues? This video at the end will make a lot of sense when I tell you, man, I'm set apart. And I'm not casting my ballot on any of these people when I know they don't serve the most high Yah. You never hear them talking about uh, anything for righteousness sake. You're never going to hear you're never going to hear that. Why? Because they appeal to the masses. And I want you to remember the book does say that only a remnant will be saved. And there's a specific set of instructions according to the word of the most high Yah in order to have salvation. I'm not gonna get to my judgment and Hamashiach is gonna say, man, you were left wing, welcome to the kingdom. You were right wing, welcome to the kingdom. You was a Democrat, welcome to the kingdom. You was a Republican, welcome to the kingdom. You was a liberal, a conservative, welcome to the kingdom. It's not what he's going to say. Man, a lot of people better wake up and start focusing on what really matters. You could be growing food right now in your own yard, but these people are never going to tell you that. They're too busy trying to win the hearts and minds of people when they're not really going to bring any benefit. You could be raising your own cattle and your livestock. You could be getting yourself out of debt, contrary if this country chooses to run off of debt with the national debt ceiling above $30 trillion in counting, and they're giving out free money, stimulus packages, like we have that money to give. A lot of people don't realize that their game is to borrow money from other countries. You got to look at it. If we are in debt, who are we in debt to? Go back and Google that. Who do we owe money to? People don't realize that these people are nothing but stage players borrowing money from people to line their pockets now and the debt will be paid by the future generations. Roll that footage. Well, there is no right wing or left wing uh, in the United States politically. There's, a, there's the right lane and the left lane on the same one way road. But both of those lanes and that same road all go to the same destination. Maybe there's a fast lane and a slow lane, but they both go to the same place. And that place is certainly not your liberation or your freedom or justice. So what you need to be is on a different road. If you want to reach that destination, the destination of freedom and liberation and justice, you need to be on a different road. But I'm afraid at this point, socially, politically, economically, and every other kind of way, culturally, uh, the Rubicon is already in your rearview mirror. And that road that you're on has no U-turns.